The debate over masks in schools have dominated school board meetings and pitted parents against one another. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Rachel Yankunis. The debate over school mask mandates continues, and now a controversial move by doctors is adding to the mix. Fox 43's Victoria Lucas explains. Kids are back in school, and they're back with masks. Many parents are not on board with the state health secretary's decision to require mask wearing. Now they may be able to get around it with a doctor's note. Some physicians are creating stock exemption forms for face coverings. The forms are pre-signed by a doctor and gives people a medical or religious exemption from COVID-19 mask mandates. These generic forms are facing skepticism from infectious disease experts. Doing things like just giving stock exemptions is going to make it more likely that there'll be COVID transmitted. It makes it more likely that the school will have to shut down or quarantine and it makes it more likely they'll have to revert to remote learning. Dr. John Goldman of UPMC says UPMC of Central Pennsylvania will not give stock exemptions for masking and highlights the only reason to not wear a mask is for medical purposes, which is listed in section three of the order. Anxiety such as they simply can't tolerate the mask. Or learning reasons. The kid, the child needs to be able to lisp, lip read. You can't understand them with the mask on. People are weighing in on social media. Eric Daniel Arndt says, treat it the same way we'd treat it if they were writing prescriptions the same way. Jillian Koser believes it should be a parent's choice of how their children are handled, not the state's or the government's. The Department of Health told Fox 43 in a statement, quote, Parents or other individuals who are aware that physicians are offering blanket exemptions may file a professional licensing complaint through the Department of State. The link can be accessed on our website, fox43.com. If a student refuses to wear a mask, the DOH says, quote, school entities should follow their local policies and procedures on managing student and staff misconduct. Victoria Lucas, Fox 43 News.